had to make. There is an the error. The Bible is wrong sorry, and, and, and the Quran is right? Yes. That's your argument? Yes, yeah? my argument. Okay. That's right, exactly I'm, my argument. That's, it, that's exactly my argument. That's exactly my argument. The exactly my argument. Because here, if it was a common name, as she said, title of a king, no problem. Why they haven't used the Caesar of Egypt? They didn't use that. But they used the title Pharaoh, which is true. Which right, is Pharaoh just say, and as well, not within this, right? the, no, it Moses, means, it, it means no, the ruler, no, no, the ruler no, no, of no, Egypt. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Moses wrote about Can Joseph, you, right? Was, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. That, uh, he was not, Ramses II was not Pharaoh. I, did, did I say Ramses II is not Pharaoh? No, because you just jumped in. You don't know what's going on. Go, right. Right. Moses see, wrote see the video about later Pharaoh. On. Moses called Pharaoh Pharaoh, right? Yes. That would have been his dad, but a stepfather. Okay. Right? Or That's his adopted problem. father. Because Moses was adopted, okay. right, by Pharaoh, by Pharaoh's daughter. All right? Agree? By, so by, Pharaoh's, Moses, by right? Pharaoh's wife. Uh, no, Pharaoh's daughter. We believe his wife. Okay, could you? Right, okay, right, right. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, right? Now, <laughs> right? Now, it is a matter of you're saying, right, okay, you believe that so your account in the right. Quran sure. is the right interpretation. Yes. Okay? And you have a didactic argument to prove it. Yes. Right? We are saying, right, okay, that we don't believe that your interpretation is right. No problem. I'm, I'm right? not here. I'm not here to. Listen. Well, you are. No, you just said you're here to win the argument. It, what, you told what, me what, that. Yes, yes. I'm, okay. I'm saying. I already won it. I already did it. I already right. did it. No, you haven't won the argument. You haven't. Already. You haven't. All you've already. done. All you know is preach to the converted because all the Muslims here are going to say, Oh, my brother is right. Yes, he's right. right. I'm right. I'm right. right. And I'm right. Gonna say, and not just that. No, 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 no. no. All, we, all we Christians are going to say. Shush me. Don't shush me. I will shush you. Don't, no, I will shush but you again. But I, re but I respect you because you're older than me. Okay. So, so, if, and so vice versa. the same thing. So don't shush someone. Okay. All right. Okay. Right. Will you apologize right. okay. about your shushing me? If you apologize by inter not interrupting me, I didn't interrupt you. You, did. you shushed me. You, if no, I interrupt you, you I apologize. No, I have good. no issues. Okay, well, and I apologize for shushing you. Okay, now what do you uh, want to say? Okay, my point is this, right? We can stand here, right, and we can measure our equipment about I'm this and I'm that, you know, but in the end, we all want the truth about God to be revealed. Good. Right? That's what I want. Well, yeah, I'm sure. on a factor, okay? Right? Sure. Now, now, have you ever dictated a letter? Which letter? You know, you're writing a letter, but somebody's writing it for you. Yeah. Have you dictated a letter? Yeah, I did. Right. Have they ever used their own words in the letter that you've written? You think, hmm. So I've got the impression that's what I said, but they used their words instead of yours. Uh, I will tell you something. I, I know where you're going. No, 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 but can you answer my question, please? And then no, I'll no. answer yours. There is no uh, yes and no. There's yeah, there no is. Yes no, 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 no. There's a point I'm trying to get to. No. No, 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 no. Please, please. No, that's not please. yes or no. No, there is. Yes or no. Okay. We all dictate a letter, right? No, no, no. Hold on. There is a point to this. One second. One second. By the way, what's your name? What's your name? My name's Steve. Steve, listen. Listen to me. Let's agree on something. Okay. Listen, if if my question to you yes and no, yeah, then you tell me maybe if it's not yes and no according to you, you are entitled to answer what, what you think is convenient for you, yeah? And the same thing goes for me. You cannot dictate me what I should say, what but I shouldn't you're say. you're dictating tacitly. No, no. You, you have I, your people around, you're no, dictating. Listen, listen, no. no but there are some people. By the way, yeah. by the way, our people around, does that threat you? I mean, we're here. We're here. Being passive, we're, here. We're, we're, we're being passive. We're being nice to you. And we are, I, I respected you. I apologized okay. earlier. And, you and, and I apologized earlier if I came and across I and apologize and so, to you now, so I respected that again. Yeah. So let's have a respect. We're both passionate people. people. That's good. Okay. So my point is, what you wanted to say, I want, I understand that what you wanted to say that this Bible, all the on the Old Testament and the New Testament, was written with people's hand, and then they will write what they understood it. Correct? Yes. That's what you wanted to say. Yes. My point is, according to their understanding, they can use the term Caesar. They can use any title. Why they specifically use the term Pharaoh for the king of Egypt all the time? That would have been the title of the king in those days. Good. Pharaoh would have been the title Th of the king that's, in those days. I agree with you, but this is, that's my, my point is, yeah. historical fact is not yeah. something which is, you know, skeptical. That's something which is, we can skeptic about. We can, it's confirmed. Historical fact. The king at the time of Moses is Pharaoh, 100%, full stop. full stop. But the king at the time of Joseph 
impossible, you understand what it means? It's impossible to use the term Pharaoh because those, the Hexos never believed in Pharaoh. They never believed that they are Pharaohs. They are not Pharaohs. They will not use the term Pharaohs. Okay. Anywhere. So the point is, when Joseph was working for that king, he was called addressed as a king, not Pharaoh at all. all right. At all. Can I ask you this, right? You understand? His lineage, his lineage, lineage, right, would have been Pharaoh. Who? A great in Joseph's time. No. Right? Yes, of course he was. No, no. He came from a line of Pharaohs. No, no, no. That's that, again, he did. That's again. That's again. That's not true. That, that's not true. Go back to history. I'm not. I'm not bringing. Open the history. history. You're saying Rosetta Stone, uh, right? No. So you got one man. No, 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 not one man. I'm talking about fact, historical fact. I'm not talking about one man. Of one man who listen, listen. With the Bible. What happened? One second. Oh no, no, no. Someone. By the way, he's a Christian. He's a Christian. He's a Christian guy. But I will give this guy. He didn't interpret anything. What he did, he discovered the old hieroglyphic language into old Greek language, and then and then they start understanding what they used to write on these, on the pyramids and everywhere. Let me try to explain to you. So because at that time, no one knows what is, it, what is written there. They will walk by the pyramids, they will find these scrolls, they don't know what it means. Until this guy, he dismantled the language into the into understandable language, correct? Then, when they brought all these scrolls, all this ancient history, which is written on these, on these minarets, on all, in all, all around Egypt, they said the time of Joseph, around 500 years before Moses was sent, the, the, old, the ancient Egyptian took over, and then they start using the term Pharaoh. Okay. Before that, yeah. during the time of Joseph, yeah. when Hyksos ruled, yeah. impossible the Pharaoh was there. So it's okay. not lineage of Pharaohs, okay. can you I, understand? Can I, right, can I, can I, can I give you, you get the point? I, I, I hear what you're saying. Okay, good. And I respect what you're saying. Good, and I respect but, that but, as well. But uh, may you know, I say what you that say. the Bible, right, in terms of continuity, right, in terms of continuity, use the word Pharaoh to describe the type of rule that he had in Joseph's day, because it was Egypt. That's not true. Rather than going to the semantics of language, he used the continuity of language. Okay. Right? But that's not Which true. May have Hang on, wait, wait. People still explain whether he's Pharaoh or king, he was an eminent ruler. I understand. Carrying on in the traditions, right, of the Egyptians. My, my, the whether he's a hexagon or not, right, in a way, right, is a side issue. No, it's a, it's a main issue. I will tell you why. Just exactly, it's a, it's not a side issue. My point is, what, what I'm trying to get to you and try to make you to understand all all, uh, all the Christian fellows or followers of Christianity. Now, when we have, just for example, this country, this very same country, United Kingdom, it was ruled at certain point by Roman Caesars. Yeah, yeah? that's true. At certain point. That's true. Yeah. Like your country's ruled by emirs. Yeah, yeah. And, and then later on, when the when the when the king, the first king, I think, when, when they start coming, when they start uh, having the power of the country, I think what was his name, the first king? I, I forget his name. Anyway, okay. The, you know, from from Henry England. Or, no, uh, not Henry, but not before Henry. Huh? In England, the first king, the one who united um, the king. Oh, oh uh, uh, hang on. Edward or not Edward? No. It might be Edward. No, 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 no. no Edward. Richard. Huh? Anyway, yeah, it doesn't right. matter. Yeah. So the point is, the point is that there is a first king. So that first king has used the title king, correct? Okay. So the point is, if I am now writing history now, even for example, let's say, let's say Richard the Great. Yeah. Let's say, yeah, yeah. Let's, use the, let's talk about Richard the Great. Yeah, yeah. So if I say, uh, Richard the Great was the pharaoh of the United Kingdom. Right. Okay. So, well, someone will laugh at you. So, yeah, of course what, they what, would. What's this course nonsense? They would. Because, because, it's, because it's non secretary Yeah, yeah. So because. It, he, we know Pharaoh is the king of the Egypt at certain point. Yes. Yeah? And then as well, if you use the Caesar, uh, because Caesar was a title being used here. Okay. By the but, Romans. By the Romans. Yeah. But since he didn't use the title Caesar, he used the title king. So it will be historical error to say about Richard ah, the Great. But, One second. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. So it is historical error to say about Richard the Great to address him as Caesar. It's a historical error. Uh, I hear what yeah, you're you saying, understand. Right? If I find if I find this in a book which claims to be the word of God, not word of man, word of God. And I found this, this is the word of God, which means it has to be true. And this word of God has historical error. That is what I will be doubting about the facts in okay, this world. Right, okay, you yeah, get it. I understand the thread. If you pull the thread and it all falls apart, 
That's what you're saying, yes? Yes, that's okay, what I, that's, right. that's and, part and, of it. And I hear, I hear your didactic argument, all right? But let's come with this. But they do, right? but they do come generally to the park. <laughs> oh, this is the first time. This is the first time, yeah? Yes. Is this the first time? <laughs> no, I haven't been here for years. Uh, well, you should, you should come more regular. <laughs> we, we all get these hackers anyway. Yeah. But, right? uh, now, let's look at it from this point of view. Right? Pharaoh in Moses' day was his adopted father, yes? Okay, so Moses would have used that word as Pharaoh. God, God has used the right, title. Now, hold on, wait, 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 wait because Moses. God also used the personality of the writers good, good. to write also. So, because Moses was an educated man, good, he yeah. went to the Oxford and Cambridge of his time. Yeah, okay. All right, let's use that. Okay? No, not Oxford. No, I, wait, 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 no <laughs> I, I, I'm we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna have this. I know. No, no, I'm saying Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. So, he went to the Oxford of his time, right? Okay. Therefore, when he wrote, right, as God's secretary, he would have used language that he wanted to put on. So to describe the rule and the way that um, the way that Pharaoh ruled at that time was as a Pharaoh. That right? I, during the time was I have no problem. Like, with this. I, and even in Joseph's time, no. because the guy had absolute autonomy like a pharaoh would. He was worshipped almost as a god, like a pharaoh. Now the reason why you and I call them pharaohs and not kings, because pharaohs were worshipped as a god-like figure. Okay. Therefore, when Moses wrote that pharaoh, he was saying the type of man this guy was. Okay. Did you finish? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> are you say are you saying any king who no. been worshipped no, had to no. be can use the title no, pharaoh? No, 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 Meaning no, 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 the emperors no. of Japan was no. the pharaohs. So that no, 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 no. So only in terms of Egypt. No. Or Semitic countries. No. You no. Say. One second. Semitic countries. Okay. That was a Semitic language. Good. Semitic country. <laughs> I, I accept this. Semitic. Let's go back to the Semitic countries. <laughs> Since the Semitic countries. The Canaanites, the Canaanites who ruled, who are Semitic people. They wouldn't have pharaohs. One second, they never had pharaohs. They had kings yeah. that goes smashing, yeah. only smashing Egypt, your... Only Egypt <laughs> had pharaohs. So, <laughs> only Egypt had pharaohs. Yeah. You know that. Come yeah. On. Not only Egypt. <laughs> Egypt was ruled nowadays. For example, there is a president in Egypt. We cannot use his pharaoh of Egypt. Come on. Moses, only pharaohs rule. Moses. Yes, I agree. But when it comes to Joseph, like to say, is the guy to say, why don't the Bible use the president of Joseph? Because, 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 because this guy was pharaoh-like. No, it wasn't pharaoh. It wasn't pharaoh. It was a king. So oh, let's I, I understand let's that. Let's stick, yes. let's okay. stick to the text. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. You're saying listen, tomato, listen. I'm saying tomato. Listen, L listen. No, 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 no. It's not tomatoes. We're saying, you're saying tomatoes. I'm saying cucumber. We're, to we're talking about different things. Different things. <laughs> By the way, that's one thing. So let's accept. Listen, let's accept something. It is... It is not, I mean, it should be, if, if we go to the history, I'm talking about historical facts, it's not something, well, seriously, if you go now to Egypt, seriously now, and you read all of these scrolls and things, what they have discovered, they discovered amazing thing about ancient Egypt, by the way. And then it is, they said, yeah, sorry. They said it is, literally, it is a historical, a historical error to say Pharaoh. Historical error, it's, it's error, we cannot use it. The king wasn't named as that. So anyway, I, you know, I respect this conversation. And I respect, I respect you. you, sir. I'm you sorry, know, but I came because of being verbose. No, me? no problem. I, I, same as for you. And I as well. <laughs> you know, I, again, I, I wanted you to read about Islam. Yeah. You seem you're a genuine person. And, uh, you know, and you, we're all the truth seeker at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. All of us wanted to find the truth. And for, for us, it is important for us as Muslims to invite you to seek to look into Islam. Yeah. Read for yourself. Yeah. Do you have a Quran? Do you have a Quran? I do, oh, yes. Yeah. You did read the Quran? I, I used to be a black Muslim before I became a Christian. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, well, did you convert to, Christi to Islam? Yeah. Then you went no, back? No, I converted to Christianity from... <laughs> from Islam? Yes. You were Muslim, practicing Muslim? Yes. So do you for know... For a while. For a while? Yeah. I even did know that you don't call it... We call it Surah. Right, the Torah term for your verse is Surah. Okay. Right? Not, if not you are a Muslim, can you recite Surah Al-Fatiha? 
Now I know there are five pillars of it. No, that's the fact. What the fact? Now, that. If you are a Muslim, at least you I'm know. I'm not a Muslim now. Before, yeah, you should know. Like 40 years ago. Even 40 years ago. No, I don't remember this thing, that. you know, you know, it's sort of the fact. Because many Christians, they come to us, they say, "Oh, I used to be, a, I used to be Muslim, I converted to Christianity." But I ask this question, which is a trivial question, which is a three, four years old child will answer this question. Yeah. Read Surah Al-Fatiha. Just the Fatiha, the first chapter of the Quran in Arabic. I can't remember. So that's my point is, I will say, I don't know, I doubt that you are Muslim. Okay. Yeah, I, I highly doubt because okay. if you were Muslim, okay. even, even, even one month in your life in Islam, you will memorize Surah Al-Fatiha. Yeah, but so not being a Jewish you child, know. the Jewish child can quote from six in the Jewish politics. No, not I, Jewish politics, I'm talking about Surah Al-Fatiha. Do you know no, what no, Surah Al-Fatiha? Do you know what Surah Al-Fatiha? Do you know what Surah Al-Fatiha? Do you want to know the reason why? Do you know what Surah Al-Fatiha, what does it mean? Sorry? Do you know what Surah Al-Fatiha, where is it? What? Where is Surah Al-Fatiha? I don't know. You see here, that's a, the most trivial question, even let alone, don't recite it. Where is it in the Quran? I don't, I don't know. You, you want to know the reason why I don't do that? There is a specific reason why. Because you've never been Muslim. Because... That's, 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 well, that's what it means. Okay. Let, let, let's, let's use this. Let's say I flirted with it. Okay? Meaning you're not Muslim. <laughs> don't say I was a Muslim. So let's use okay. that. Okay. So you've never been Muslim. I got involved in it. You got involved, but you never was no. Muslim. Okay, good. Yeah. I, I respect your honesty. Yeah. Now, yeah. now we are now in one platform. Yeah. So I know many Christians, they just wanted to say, oh, I was a, I was, I was a Muslim. Anyway. No, I know. When these trivial questions, by the way, chapter five has the first chapter of the Quran. Just the, again, the most trivial. Okay. <laughs> if and you I have ever you even opened the Quran, you will find it the first Thank one. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> but, but, by the way, you know the chapter of Fatiha, what it, what it has? What? I will read it for you and I will translate, yeah, for you. Allah said in the Quran, A'udhu Billah Min Shaitan Rajeem, I seek refuge in Allah from the devil and the whispers of the devil. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praise be to Allah, the Lord of the world. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The most gracious, the most merciful. Malik Yawm al-Deen. The owner of the day of judgment, the day of recompense. Malik Yawm al-Deen. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in. It is you and only you we worship. And it is you and only you we seek aid and help. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina al-sirat al-mustaqim. Guide us to the right path. Guide us to the straight path. So chapter in fact is about asking guidance. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم the path of those whom you have favored صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم neither those who gain the anger of Allah ولا الضالين nor those who went astray so chapter الفاتحة it's about seeking guidance from Allah you are wanted the guidance and the guidance in 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 the meaning in the understanding of Islam is three things the first guidance that you want God to show you the straight path, the right path. The second is God to lead you to that path, not just only to show you, and it will to lead you to that path. The third guidance is God to keep you firm on that path. Okay, can I say something, right? When I became so beautiful, a, when I came to Christ, Christianity, right, I had experience with God where the Lord walked into my room and I had a conversation with Him. But maybe it's the, the devil. It's no, why devil. would it be the devil? Why? I, I, I know the devil. How, how did he look like? Right? I know, I know, I know it was Jesus. How, right? did, he, how, how did he look like? Pure, holy, undefiled. How did he look, look Pure. like? Pure. Features, features. Shining light. All I saw was a shining light. So you didn't see I spoke face. to him, he spoke to me. It doesn't matter. No, no, listen. You can't decry my experience. No, no, I'm not, I'm not well, saying, yeah. I'm not saying no. I'm saying you, maybe you had this experience. But for you to know, yeah? That we believe, we I, believe. I know what you believe in. I believe now, that Jesus Christ is the express image of God. I believe he's the second person of the Trinity. Okay. I believe.
in goldsmiths so i would say i'm not doubting i'm not doubting your intelligence Good. i'm not doubting at all your so, intelligence so so these are not no, no, fabricated i am things. not doubting your okay. intelligence at all yeah. by the way I, again i respect you yeah. and you came in a, in a in a respectful way and i respect this yeah unlike many of these hacklers who comes here <laughs> so anyway so the point is let's let's let, we need to we need to kind of having this the right understanding okay you believe for example, as a Christian, Jesus is God, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. When Jesus was saying, talking to his Lord, talking to his Father, talking to his Father, he was saying, so they will know that you are the only true, true God. God. Right. If the Father is the only true God, what does that make Jesus? Because the word for God in the Old Testament and it was Elohim, right? Him at the end is plural. Right? So even in Genesis, we see the Godhead. Christ is the exposition of the Word. The Father speaks through the Word. All things were created through Him and the power of the person of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we see that God is one, but three persons in one, even as we are made up of a trinity, spirit, soul, and body. Okay, going to answer you. When he says the only true God is the Father, when he is saying this in a clear statement, meaning the Son is not God, that's what it means. No, it, doesn't, no, 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 no. it doesn't mean that. Bro. It doesn't mean this. Now, the other thing, what is if we define God? Because you know, I like, I like, I like academic. You like the academic approach, yeah, approach, yeah. and I like the academic approach. Right. Because generally, we might, for example, if I say to you, let's define the tree. Yeah. And then we will say different things until we have agreed on certain definition, okay. which is, you know, a creature yeah, that is yeah. a living thing yeah, yeah. that starts from a seed yeah, and yeah. it grows. And yeah. So we'll have a definition. Okay. If yeah, we yeah. don't have a definition, we'll be all over the place. Yeah, correct? I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So let's define, let's define the divine. Okay. What, is, what is God? What does God mean? There are three main characteristics which define God's omnipotence, one second, all knowing, yes, all powerful, yes. all knowing, yes, has independent will, correct? Yes, correct? Yes. Does Jesus tick all these boxes? Does what? Does Jesus tick any of these boxes? All of them. Okay. Is Jesus all powerful? Yes. When he was on the cross, he was seeking help from Ah, him. ah. Was he all no, powerful? Now, hold no. on. Wait, wait. The, now, let me explain the cross, right? I know, I know. I know, right. I know what you're going to say. Let me explain the cross, right? Let me explain what Jesus Christ did, right? Now, God saw the fall of man, right? God saw it. God foresaw it. So, the Godhead had a discussion. With who? The son between themselves the gods the three persons in one so they have a discussion one god, one second. three persons one second they have a discussion with who yes god the son and the father you god know, the holy spirit god the father god the holy spirit god the son had a discussion amongst themselves so they debate N debate discussion yes well not debate though did they have right? a different opinion no they're yeah. all in a cold it was agreed that god the son would empty himself right of the glory and the honor and the power the shekinah glory he had with the father he would divest himself of it in the power of the holy spirit he would become a human being in his humanity as a human being he became god the man right he will atone for man's sin Okay. Right? He would he would be flogged so badly he's unrecognizable as a human being. He would be crucified on the tree and then God the Father then can pour out his wrath because Jesus then became sin by imputation, not that he was a sinner. Right? He poured out his anger and Jesus would atone for it. When he was buried, the old test, the old creation was buried with him. When he rose from the dead, the new creation came into being where he will both be our Lord and Christ. Did you finish? 
So basically, now. what you mentioned here is clearly stating that Jesus seized his divinity, correct? Yeah, no, yes and no. No, not yes and no. We no, have, we no. He was always God. No, no what, what's that, what's he that? was God the man. So, so he was always God. So going back, the he definition. He didn't use his divinity. One second, one second. Let's, 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 listen, you know, I like, you know, you're an academic person and I respect this. Let's, let's, let's use the academic approach, yeah? Okay. So here, Jesus seized his divinity, as you as you claim, which means he's not God anymore. No, when no, 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 he did not. You, you are interrupting me. As God, you, you interrupted no, me. No, but you're not saying. That if you're saying the right thing, that's fine. Okay, no problem. I did. I heard you. I heard no, you. He didn't cease to be I heard, God. I heard you. Okay. Fine. I didn't interrupt you, and sorry, I know you're saying. I'm sorry. Sorry. No problem. In my passion. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going back. <laughs> I wish all this discussion here. Why did they bring this? this? I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, so here, according to what you said, so the 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 those the the, the triune God start de debating, start discussion. Also, shall we do this? And then someone, oh, we can't do that. And then the other one would say, according to you, say you should. They had a discussion. They had a debate. I don't know if it was heated debate or it was, yeah, it or if it was comfortable debate like our debate now. So apparently they have kind of, they have kind of disagreement or an agreement or whatever. So that means here that cause contradicts the very nature of God. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the, the nature of God. Wait, wait one second. If God is all powerful, yes, which he is, and all knowing, yes, he is. Does he need to have discussion to do things? Yes. No. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me tell you again. Let, let me let me tell you. I give you more insight. If I am I am a mathematician, yeah. Yeah. I'm a mathematician, and I know in the basic math, one yeah. plus one equal to two. Yeah. Correct. Now I know one plus one equals two. From my knowledge, do I need to consult everyone in the park here to decide if one plus one equals two or not? Because God is not like one that. Se one second, one second, one second. Uh, no, I know. I'm not talking about if God likes that or not. I'm talking about let's use our no, own. But, but your logic, your logic. See, please, your logic Michael, is Michael, please, Michael, please, Michael, Stephen, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen. Sorry, Stephen. Uh, because I debated with the, with the mic. So Stephen, Stephen. Oh, I'll be Michael. Go Stephen. <laughs> no worries. Stephen. <laughs> Stephen, going back to the point, when I know something it is true, I don't need to consult about it. Meaning, when the when the when the triune God knows it is the true and knows the consequence of the things which He has all knowledge, meaning the possessor of all knowledge, what is before, what is now, what is yet to come, He knows everything. There is no there is no point of discussion. Can I bring a point? Hang on. Right? You, you, you interrupted you're, me. No, I hear that, but you're in mid-flow, and I understand where you're going to go with this, right? I am saying, right, that God, plural, right, is a God of relationship. Okay? Right? That's why God is called the Father. He's a God of relationship. Therefore, though he's all-knowing, Right? He doesn't always come to us in order he gives us a choice. We're not talking about we're not talking about us, we're talking about the gods yeah, themselves. When about they were God. getting together, we're talking yeah, about the I'm gods about according God. to you. But I can't let you devalue Jesus. No, well, one second. I'm not devaluing, I'm not devaluing Jesus. We value Jesus, peace be upon him. We value him that he is a prophet and of God. But my point is, here, this is the point. Look at the, look at this understanding, and then you will get you get what I'm saying. My point is when you mentioned when they were debating and having this discussion, if it's something that is known according to God there is no point for the discussion because it's known he knows what's happening but when there is discussion that means apparently they don't know about what's gonna happen firstly secondly that's why by the basically you shot yourself in the foot with, with this with this analogy the other thing the other thing when it comes to the point when we talk about okay Jesus seized his glory meaning he sees his divinity that according, he become not God now anymore. He became as a form of human, as you said. So he's not God. So when he is not God here, that means he sees his divinity. That means he's not God. When you say to him, he, if he was God, in the same time he was a man, in the same time, which is the Christian doctoring, they say he is fully God and fully man in the same time. Yeah. If he is fully God and fully man in the same time, yeah. as a fully God, is he, if, if someone does, is the fully God ha, have position, the all, is he all knowing the fully God? Yes, God is all knowing, as you mentioned. 
Now Jesus was asked a very simple question for God. The God will answer this question. People came to Jesus and asked this, asked this question to Jesus. When is the hour? And that defines God because the only one knows about the hour is the God. It's simple the as that. One second. The Father. Yeah. The Father. Then carry on. Right. Ne neither. Right. Neither. The, the angels. Ne no, neither the Son. Yeah. No, the right. angel. But no one yes, knows no, on, about. You're taking that out of context. No, no, no. No, no. Jesus, Jesus took it out of in his Not humanity. Me. No, no, no. Let me explain. Jesus in hu in humanity was limited. He came to do one thing. That was to redeem mankind. He okay. came to die. All right. Right? Therefore, Until you finish, I will answer. Therefore, yes. and I remember I said to you in the beginning, which you've forgotten, Jesus emptied himself. Became right? no God. Right? Now, listen. Was right? he God? Right, listen, listen, listen. When you talk to your two-year-old son, right, do you talk to your two-year-old son with all the knowledge that you know? No. Exactly. So Jesus came down to our level and spoke in our level. You shot yourself with the other foot. Well, no, 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 no. I, <laughs> I tell you. You'll have no foot to shoot no, now. No, no, listen, listen. <laughs> now let me finish explaining what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. In order for Jesus to redeem humanity, he had to live as a human being, so that at the resurrection we inherit his humanity. Okay. Did you finish? That was no, I've not. Okay, finish. I've not. So, I'm going to go over it one more time. No, no, do it. Jesus Christ. You have right? you have two foot, you okay, shot yourself right, now. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Jesus Christ, right, is God. He agreed with the Father that the Father would become the emblem of authority. He would become totally human in the power of the Holy Spirit. He would fulfill the, the law, the Ten Commandments, completely. He would complete the law. On the cross, he would pay the price for man's sin. Right? Then, when he was buried, man's sin was buried with him. When he rose from the dead, as a man, the new creation rose with him. When he ascended, he then trained the church for 40 days. When he was glorified, he was glorified as Lord. And he regained everything he sacrificed. So he becomes fully God again, but in his humanity. Did you finish? I finished. Okay, good. Let's, let's go back to the foot that you shot yourself. <laughs> let's go back to the temple. Here you said, you said, that's a good, good analogy by the way. Can you talk to your five years old child the way that you think that shows Jesus at that time, was he fully God, 100% God? Yes. So if he was 100% God, how, do you, how dare you? You are saying about him that he was like, like a five years old one. The point is, I didn't say that. you give me this analogy. No, I didn't say the point is, five year old. that you're shows, <laughs> you said, can I talk no, to you about brother, it? Brother, brother, you're saying, I'm using an analogy. Good. Meaning, he wasn't fully God. He so that's why. God. Listen, you, you already said, you already said, one second, if he was fully God, firstly, he did it when he said, when he said, no one knows about the hour except the father, neither the son nor the angels. Ex oh, no one knows, and he confirmed, no one knows, he confirmed twice, no one knows about the hour except the father. So the point is, when Jesus said, Jesus didn't say, oh, the God son, Oh, he didn't say, for example, the human nature of the son doesn't know about the hour, but uh, the God nature of the son knows about it. He didn't say that. He said the son, the son, the whole son, this son doesn't know about the hour. You're presuming. Yeah, not presuming. You this, are, is, presuming. this is his statement. You've got no proof from what you said. Now, one second. I'll go to hear what he said. No, no, you've got no proof. See, you interrupted me, by the way. Yeah? I didn't interrupt you, did you? I was respectful. I know, you're right. You're sure you heard. Okay, good. Oh, okay. So, so the point is, Jesus, when he was, he said, no one knows about the Lord. No one knows about that except the Father. Neither the Son. That the Son means the Son God, the Son Man. The, no, the Son doesn't know about the Lord. Nor the angels knows about the Lord. The only one knows about the Lord is the Father. Now, either Jesus was lying, if he knows about the hour, why did he hide this knowledge? 
If he knows about the da'wah, why did he why did he lie to the people? If his God side knows about the da'wah, why the God side didn't interrupt and spoke? That's one thing. Again, if Jesus is all knowing, he is apparently that shows he's ignorant about certain things. If he is not powerful, he couldn't defend himself. He was even think about it. He was think asking, asking the father to help him. To help him when he was on the cross. He was asking, begging. Why have you forsaken me? Can you imagine? If the other thing, the other thing, if he was, if he knew he was meant to be sacrificed, why did he ask? Because He's, he said it as a human being. No, he, he, no there is no. The if he is hundred percent God, according to you, if he is hundred percent God, will not say this because because he knows that's his. He was, for example, if, if I create, for example, for example, let's say this watch, I, for example, this watch was created for certain purposes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You you cannot use it to. Drive a car. You cannot put it. You cannot. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. So the point is, the point is, it is meant for something. It is meant. This machine is meant for this purpose. If Jesus was so clever, yeah, yeah, according to you, he knew his purpose is to do this. He has one single duty to die on the cross, according to you. And this single duty, the night before, he was saying. You know, take this cup away from me. He was, he was it's asking. Not possible. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't want, he doesn't want the sacrifice. He's no, asking. Uh, uh, he's scared. He was sweating human, blood. Okay, can I, you know? Can I say why? Listen, listen, right? listen, listen. He had never been separated from the Father before. One second, one second. He was about to become somebody the very thing he hated. So, you, said, you said we had yeah, a discussion. He was God the man. Listen, listen, Steve. Okay. They were had a discussion okay. just a minute right. ago. Okay. When they had discussion, they were already no, no, separated. I know, I know, I know. But in a way, Steve, let's let's go back to the point. So he was sweating. He was terrified. He was scared. They were saying, "Oh, take this cup away from my, from me." If it's possible. One second. And what he said, here we said, if the if the, if he's, if he's God, he he will have an independent will. What he said, Jesus, let it be not my will. Let it be not my will, but yours. Now, does Jesus have independent will according to this? Yes. He doesn't have. He said, he let, "Listen, what he said." He could have chosen. No, no, no. He, he does. The very fact he said, "Father," he can. Right, he he could have chosen. Does he, he have a choice? Does he have a choice? No. He can. Yes, he does have a he choice. He has a choice. Yes. Can you imagine? You know, think about it. No, no, hang on. Th think See, about no, it. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Think about no, it. No, to turn your logic around, right? If I'm saying to you, if I'm saying, right, you're saying to me, right, that Steve, I want you to go and buy that tree, right? And I'm saying to you, and you're my dad, right? And I'm saying to you, I, I'm your son. Why did you I say that? <laughs> <laughs> right? You're my dad, right? Okay, and I'm no problem. To you, son, go buy that tree. But dad, I want to use this money for something else, right? Okay. But dad, if you want me to use this money to buy that tree, I'll go and buy it. Do you have independent will? Is that yes. what? No, it means I have no choice. Otherwise, it we come home. I respect you enough. To, set, to, to, to buy the tree because you asked listen, me to. Listen to me. If Jesus went, I will tell you something. What is? My, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh, God, you know. God, <laughs> God has created the sun for a purpose. Yeah, for a purpose to get to get to shine and to you know to spread the, the light on the earth, etc. Yeah? So that has a purpose. So can you imagine? It so it is, has one single purpose. Jesus, uh, who is more important than the sun, who is more important as a human being and as a prophet of God. He knows, according to you, he knows he has one single mission, one single purpose, which is to die on the cross. Does he have a choice? No, he has he no choice. Even but he more said, let it be not my will. He's, firstly, <laughs> one second, he said, take this cup away from me. Ask him, if possible. He doesn't want to do it. And then he is saying after that, let it be not my will. But, but yours, will be done. but thy will be done. So he doesn't have independent will. And listen, Steve, please, Steve. Wallahi, by Allah, I'm saying to you, you are, you seem genuine person. And I'm, these things doesn't. Jesus doesn't take any of these boxes. He is, he is not all powerful. He was crying. He was crying. You know, why have you forsaken me? By the way, when he was on the cross, he was asking. He was begging. He was saying, Why have you forsaken me? Yeah. When he was on the cross, what did he say? Forgave people on the cross. Yeah, when he was on the yeah, he forgave. When, what he said, the last is what last one. Right. When 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 you see Elohim, because, Elohim, hang on, hang on. Elohim, wait, wait, Elohim, wait, 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 Elohim, 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 Elohim. Three hundred years ago, it says curse is everyone that hangeth on the tree. In the, in the, for the prophet Isaiah, when Jesus hung on that cross, he took the curse. He took of the humanity. Curse. Therefore, so the he's first cursed. part of the curse 
was to identify with sin right the second part of the curse was then when he paid the price right when he paid the price he said it is finished Okay. Right. Before that, what did he God say? God ripped the curtain from top before, to bef bottom. Before, before, before. Man was redeemed. Before, before, what did he say? No, but you see, you have to take it sequentially. No, before the, the first thing, what did no, he say? No, 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 no. The first thing he said, right? Steve, what did he My say? My God, why has thou forsaken me? Good. When he identified with sin. My God. My God. My God, why have you forsaken yes. me? Yes. My God. Yes. Who forsaken who? Right. He said, right, who, who for a second? Who? Right, the father, who for a second? God the father for a second. poured out his anger on Jesus, our rebel, because Jesus is known as the second Adam. That's not my point. No, 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 that is a point. Okay. Right? If we believe that all of us came from the first Adam, then Jesus is the second Adam. Okay. Did you finish? Yeah. My point is going back to ask you when Jesus is saying, why have you forsaken me? Who's forsaken who? Right. God, God, God my God, my God, say, my God, my why Jesus Christ. So, so, so the so the God forsaken Jesus. Yes. So you forsaken. At that time. So you forsaken. At that time. At that time. One second. One second. Do you see? Do you understand? That's another foot you shot yourself with. No, no, <laughs> but I've not. You see, you have to understand listen, redemption. Listen, I will tell you something. Now listen to me. And if God is all powerful, has yes. possession of all power. Yep. Just we need to repent to him and he will accept our repentance. Simple do as you that. Know, do you know what a height of simple, power simple is? Simple as that. Do you know what a height of power is? To be weak. Yeah, to be weak. Have you never what read kind of nonsense? God's weakness is more stronger than the strength of men. Have you never read no. that the gospel is perverse to those who don't believe? That's, that's nonsense. Have you never read, right? That's so nonsense, by God's power, as it said in scripture, right, is more powerful than the strength of men. Okay. Steve, and, and think careful about what I said, what I'm saying here. <laughs> you see here, Jesus firstly, when he said, God, oh my God, why have you forsaken? Meaning he is not God. My God. My, he has a God asking him and he said, if and this God, one second, one second. One second. He didn't say he's a human. No. He is hundred. He when was a human being second. when he died on the cross, bro. Was he hundred percent God? Yes. On the cross. But he was hundred percent human as well. But was he hundred percent God? Yeah. Look, do you not realize, right? It's just, so now. That's right, another foot you should do yourself right, The part uh, of him that was You will have, I don't know how you walk. Was caught. He said, it's yours I commit my spirit, right? Right? Listen, then listen. Jesus then on his soul was poured out as a soul offering. On his body he bore the marks for sin. Okay. You have to realize okay. that on the cross of Jesus Christ, right, three things happened. Right? You don't understand. And what we can are debate they? this all day. Tell right? me. Okay. One, one. Come, brother. Come, brother. You one, know. One, <laughs> one. Where are you? One. By the way, where are you Christian before? Yeah? Are you revert, brother? Yeah? He went through this before you. <laughs> okay, alright. I love those brothers. Are, are you Jamaican, by the way? Are you Jamaican? No, Where are you from? I'm from the West Indies, Barbados. Barbados? Yeah. So, yeah. close well, to that area. I was area. born here in Blythe, you know. <laughs> right? I know, I know.